Dr. Tan Wu Ming and Ms. Zhao Chan have pointed out that there will be some who have difficulties accessing digital services. Indeed, even as we make transacting digitally a way of life, we must not forget that there may be some Singaporeans who may not be comfortable with or know how to use digital services. Based on IDA surveys, three in four individuals aged 50 to 59 years and almost one in three seniors aged 60 years and above used the internet in 2014, with usage increasing considerably compared to two years ago. Since, 20, since 2005, we have built up a network of 26 Citizen Connect Centres, or CCCs island-wide, for those who do not have computers or internet connection and those who need help to use government e-services. Trained staff are at hand at CCCs to assist and teach users to access government services online. The goal for CCCs is to teach users to transact online independently so that they can access government services from the comfort of their own homes in future. But even if they find it hard to learn, they will still be helped at the CCCs. In 2015, CCCs helped around 120,000 citizens to access e-services. We will enhance our CCCs to make it even easier for, for users to self-help by upgrading the equipment and redesigning the online interfaces. We will progressively upgrade the CCCs to become CCC pluses, starting with pilots at the Topayo Central and Chongpang Citizen Connect Centres and our Tampanese hub by the end of this year. If successful, nationwide rollout of CCC pluses will follow from 2017 onwards. The CCC pluses will complement the existing suite of initiatives by MCI and IDA for the elderly, persons with disabilities, and low-income households to help them get online and stay online. Ms. Soon also asked about how we can maintain a human touch amidst more digitalization within government. Even as we go digital, the government will continue to provide face-to-face -face services where necessary. For example, in reaching out to less connected groups like the elderly. As Dr. Tan pointed out, there are some pioneer generation residents with mobility needs who may find it difficult to access shared terminals. The pioneer generation ambassadors, or PGAs, serve as one key touch point to convey policy information such as the pioneer generation package and MediShield Life to our pioneers. The Minister for Finance spoke about the community network for seniors pilot led by MOH. We will continue to strengthen coordination between government agencies, VWOs and local volunteers and build strong community networks to provide support and engage the elderly within the community. We are also continuing with face-to-face -face approach when gathering feedback. REACH, the government feedback unit, continues to retain face-to-face -face engagement. For example, for Budget 2016, it has held 12 such engagements so far, where close to 3,800 Singaporeans from all walks of life have participated and given their views.